Hey viewers, AL7 here. In today's video, we're going to be checking out uh, the Rusty's Rags product line. Um, this is a pretty interesting story, and this really hasn't happened to me other than Nature's Bakery reaching out to me. But uh, Latham from Rusty's Rags reached out to me, and uh, I mean, my channel is growing in popularity ever so slowly for farms and uh, airsoft video content, so on and so forth. But uh, he reached out to me, and he said he would love for me to check out uh, his line of products and to test it out and give an honest review review on his product so you know the Rusty's Rags line of products are pretty popular um, in the firearms market and for um, knives as well now this is the shotgun and rifle kit but it'll work fine on a pistol I wanted to check it out on a pistol first uh, this is my Makarov as you guys know if you guys check out my channel or have seen my other videos uh, this is my pistol so um, as you guys know, again, if you follow my channel and whatnot, I do pretty much baby my pistol, like all my firearms, I always take good care of them. So the pistol is already pretty much clean. Um, also, we're going to safety check and disassemble this gun. But again, the pistol is clean. Uh, what I'm really interested in is seeing how well uh, this kit um, polishes this pistol. Now, you can use this gun, um, or this gun cleaning kit to clean your firearms. It's for general maintenance, and it it supposedly brings out a really good shine. I was checking out some other um, videos online and some pictures before and afters, and it's a it's a really big difference. I'm hoping you guys can see it on camera, and I'll, we're also I'm going to show you a before and after after I do the whole um, cleaning process on this. So um, since we have a firearm on the table, we're going to just do a safety check. So gun is empty. We're also going to quickly disassemble it. Alright, the pistol is practically disassembled. Drop that there. And um, I'm going to re remove the grip. I'm going to have to loosen this a little bit. Alright, that should do it. And this should just pop off. Alright, so there you have it. The pistol is pretty much 100% disassembled. Uh, let's open up the cleaning kit. And... I also really do want to try this out on my Stevens Model 820B shotgun. That shotgun is going to be 65 years old this year. It's a really old shotgun. Um, I was going to re-blue it, but I never bothered. I talked to some other people and I, at a gun shop and asked about it. They said the shotgun's really old and it's not really worth a lot, so it's, there's not too much of a point in uh, re-bluing the shotgun. But I, I wanted to check out how much of a difference... Uh, this gun care kit would make it to the shotgun. Now, everything you need is included in this kit. The instructions are extremely uh, easy to follow. So we have uh, Rusty's Rag's famous um, gun oil, which is the main component in this. Move that out of the way. Also, when you purchase a Rusty's Rag's product, uh, you got a simple set of instructions. Really easy. Uh, all we're going to do is put... Um, he recommends 10 to 15 drops of the oil on the sheepskin. And that's another thing that makes Rusty's Rags products pretty special. Um, there's really no other company that uses sheepskin. Um, but this sheepskin can be used multiple times before you have to pretty much replace it. So really what all I'm going to do is put a few drops on here. I'm going to rub the cloth around a little bit. And then from there... I'm going to wipe down the top slide. It should remove fingerprints. And then I'm going to wipe down the body here of the Makarov. Uh, once it's all, you know, uh, soaked in the solution, I'm just going to wipe it down a little bit and that'll be it. Now, so for some positive feedback I've been getting um, from checking out reviews from other people and just um, on forums and such, is that people really like that the, the rag here, uh, the sheepskin and the uh, other cleaning rag, rag they don't, uh, really leave anything behind and what I mean is if you use like a cotton pad when you're cleaning farms they leave little fibers in the nooks and crannies and uh, that can be a bit annoying and sometimes difficult to remove and I really haven't had that issue with my uh, Winchester gun cleaning kit but I do um, when some people use things like q-tips to uh, clean the little um, serrations in the slide um, that's when you can run into issues like that so uh, let's um get to it already so we'll open up the solution here and now I'm just gonna apply a few drops 
Um, let's wander up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's between ten and fifteen. Could have went for thirteen drops. Alright, let's close the bottle. Don't want to spill that. I'm just going to move the solution around. And again, I really want to see um, a shine brought, brought out on the slide. That's what I'm really looking for. Because other than that, my pistol is pretty much clean. I'm, I clean it weekly. And I carry it in a Kydex holster. So it really doesn't get introduced too much um, debris while in the Kydex holster. Alright, so that should do it. Uh, the pad is wet with the solution. I'm just going to... Yeah, I can already see a polish, honestly. Alright, so we're just going to get all the sides. And yeah, you, I can already see a really nice polish being brought out on the pistol. And again, I'm going to have a before and after on this. So you guys can see how much of a difference this makes. But I'm actually really impressed. Yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not sure how well you guys will see that. But, yeah, you can see it on the viewfinder. I can see it from here. Really nice. Huge difference right there. And uh, it pretty much has removed all my uh, fingerprints on the pistol. And again, if you wanted to, you can get in all the nooks and crannies of the slide and clean it out. Now we're going to move over here to the mainframe of the pistol. Um, maybe I should apply, apply another drop or so. A little goes a long way uh, so far from what I'm seeing. So just get one where my finger would be on the grip. And then we're going to grab the sheepskin once again. Just get that around there. Get on the trigger guard. Yep, and I can already see that that fine polish coming out. That's really ama like amazing. Um, I'm gonna get around here. Try to get this all in frame so you guys can see it. But I'm actually I'm honestly impressed. I'm also going to be linking um, Rusty's. Um, the website here from Rusty's Rags. And again, a big thank you to Latham. Um, hopefully I'm not butchering your name at all whatsoever, but uh, he was the man who reached out to me uh, with the offer to check out his products. And this, I mean, it speaks for itself. Look at that. You can see the shine on the body. Really nice. And again, I only applied 12 drops onto the... Sh the sheepskin. Hands here are a little oily, but the pistol itself really isn't caked in any of the lubricant. But yeah, I'm oh, kind of an awe right here. You guys can see it on the viewfinder. Get some lighting there. I'll show you the the top slide again really really nice so I'm, I'm honestly impressed I'm gonna give a little more attention here I should also get the back it's a little dirty there and then again what's really nice is um, with the gun cleaning kit you get a little Ziploc bag to put your um, your pads back into so they don't get um, damaged or anything like that. Now again, there's really not much excess oil on here. I really don't feel the need to unfold this, but there's, there's a little bit. So I'm just going to give it a light wipe down with this. Get the excess oil off. And then I'm going to reassemble the pistol. frame here. Again, wipe, um, lightly wipe everything down. And that's about it. 
real quick and easy. Um, I will need the grip. Let's grab that. Get this all back on frame. And um, the grip I use for my Makarov is the Pierce grip. I've mentioned it in several videos in the past, so that's why it's not going on. And I strongly recommend this grip if you have large hands like I do. Gives it the feel of a double stack pistol. And uh, I just need my screwdriver. I love the simplicity of a Makarov. People um, with Glocks and whatnot, they just they'll completely wipe down the pistol. And uh, it looks really nice. You won't really see much of a shine on a polymer lower, but um, I mean it's still it's still nice and cleans it up. Yeah, that's good. Check my gap. That's good. And we're gonna just put this back together, and then I'll show you guys the before and after. But I'm honestly impressed. I really uh, was not expecting a huge difference. There we go. But this pistol looks brand new. You, you guys can see that for yourself. This pistol looks honestly brand new. I'm going to bring that a little closer to the camera. But the shine is really, really nice. So honestly, I would strongly recommend this product. Um, if you want an old firearm to look brand new or just... Just really give your pistol a nice, clean look to it. But, I mean, it speaks for itself. I don't really have much to say. Simple solution. Just oil, sheepskin, and this little pad here to uh, wipe it down. There's not much else to say, but it does have a really nice, fine finish. Um, now, this, this pad will dry up. And uh, the instructions just say to drop this back into the Ziploc bag. So I'll do that right now. And I will definitely be using this until the uh, sheepskin is no longer usable or if I run out of the uh, gun oil solution here. But I like that everything's kept well together in a small form factor. So you, there's really not much to lose. Like, if you set it anywhere, just keep it all together. And again, thank you to Latham uh, for, you know, reaching out to me with uh, his products here. But I could see what all the hype and uh, positive feedback is for. Just take one more look at the pistol. And I'm, I'm probably going to do another video with um, this product here by Rusty's Rags. Uh, we'll try it out on the Stevens Model 820B. Maybe on the outer barrel of my Ruger 1022. But... <laughs> This pistol looks brand new like the day I bought it. Alright guys, so to wrap up this video, I'm just going to have a little before and after of uh, the Makarov here. So you guys can sort of get an idea of um, how much of a difference it, may, it makes. And um, again, I'll be doing a, another cleaning sort of polishing video with my Stevens Model 820B. Because that is an old shotgun. The finish is really worn out, so... Uh, it's not really blued at this point, but it should definitely at least give it a nice polish to that shotgun. And then, um, I, you know, could try it out on my other firearms, on the exterior, on the metal parts. But I'm honestly impressed. If you're interested, uh, you know, just touching up your firearms, making it look nice. I don't know, maybe if you're into competition shooting, uh, this would be pretty nice. You know, It'd just make your firearms look real nice and presentable. And uh, if you want your firearm to look new, again, it just speaks for itself. I just lightly, uh, slightly moved the macro up here, and you can see the reflection in the, the lighting here. So, again, that wraps it up. Thanks again to Latham. Um, I'm impressed with the product. And I know some people, again, completely clean their firearms just with this simple gun care kit. Um, and I've heard from other reviews and such people tried out other gun cleaning kits and they really were not impressed or they didn't really have good results again I really haven't dabbled much in other gun cleaning kits I've just used a Winchester gun cleaning kit uh, to clean out the barrel and uh, I use M Pro 7 or or Pro yeah it's M Pro 7 I'm pretty sure that's the name of it that gun oil to lubricate um, 
where the uh, metal from the top slide touches the bottom receiver. So that's what I've been using. But um, every time now when I clean my firearms or any firearm, I'm definitely going to be using this gun cleaning kit uh, to just polish it when I'm done cleaning the internals to give it a really nice uh, new look to it. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to get this gun cleaning kit for yourself, I will have the links in the description. Um, again, I recommend the product. You can see the difference for yourself. And uh, that's all I got for today's video. I'll have more content coming out soon. This is L7, signing out.